Hi guys, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching me, depending on your time zone. Now, sometimes back, if you remember, Dennis Itumbi, the self-proclaimed Hustler Nation spokesperson, came out publicly with a letter claiming that there had been an alleged meeting at Hotel Lamada on Thika Road with the DP William Samoy Ruto as the main agenda. So later, Dennis Itumbi appeared before the court. The issue went on and the investigation was still going on. And now, after some time of investigation, yesterday, the Miliman Magistrate Law Court ruled that Dennis Itumbi, who is also the former State House Digital Director, has a case to answer in a fake Deputy President William Samoy Ruto assassination letter. And now this case, remember, it is involving two individuals. Dennis Itumbi and his co-accused Samuel Gatere Wanjiru. So as we are speaking now, Itumbi and the co-accused person should be preparing for his defense team as ruled by the chief magistrate Martha Mtuku. So he's going to give an account of what happened either through sworn affidavit or in person. And the charges has been linked to the alleged assassination letter involving Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. So these two guys had been charged with the publishing of fake documents contrary to the law. And now they have been linked to the alleged assassination letter involving the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. When this ruling came out yesterday, Dennis Itumbi went ahead to update something on his Facebook account and then Twitter account and I'm going to read, to read it to you but before I forget a quick reminder you might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed my humble request please consider to subscribe so that any other time once I come out with a video like this one you always get notified again to all the channel subscribers and anyone who dropped comment I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support please share this video out so that we can attract a bigger audience again remember to tell your friends to subscribe Back to our discussion. So this is what Itumbi had to say. I agree with my lawyers. We shall appeal. How do we go to our defense on laws already declared and constitution by the High Court? Hata Kama. He goes on to say, but I must salute the magistrate. She handled the prosecution case firmly, authoritatively, and I can only say like, Josia Murig, Murig, Murigudi, let us hand magistrate security of tenure. Mutuku, in my view, is a great magistrate that must also that must also be said. Now, this is where Dr. Miguna Miguna is coming in. After Miguna going through that tweet, he went ahead to reply to that tweet by advising Dennis Itumbi against appealing the decision by the Milimani law court. Miguna has opined that Itumbi should consider appealing the decision if he really possesses concrete evidence that can prove that a plot was, ha was actually hatched to assassinate the deputy president William Samoy Ruto. And if Dennis Itumbi in his mind understands that he don't have concrete evidence, then he should refrain from going to that direction. Miguna has gone ahead again to advise Dennis Itumbi to avoid his technical coups and face his challenger head on. Again, number three, Miguna has advised Dennis Itumbi to use open court proceeding platform to produce his audio evidence from the said meeting. Then lastly, which is very important, Miguna again has gone ahead to tell Dennis Itumbi that he should prepare to fall on his own sword just in case he was lying. So if Itumbi does not have concrete evidence, he should understand now that his ghost has been cooked. Remember we are going to 2020 general election and we don't want to go into that uh, case issue into deep details because it's a matter in the court. But political side is that we are already heading to 2022 general election. 
Itumbi has, the be has been the biggest noise maker in the Hustler Nation. He has used all manner of things to abuse even Fred Matiang. And even up to today, he still call him the thief of uh, the Milimani thief. <laughs> so, there is still problem here than Situmbi has to do with the state. And remember, these guys have been looking for any evidence that they can use to bring Denis Situmbi down. They were looking for watertight evidence. And if Itumbi is not careful, this is going to be one of the best watertight evidence. Just in case the information he has been publishing outside there has not been credible. And remember, Dennis Itumbi has his platform that he is, is referring to as the Hustler Nation Intelligence Bureau, where he's always releasing every day information referred to as classified information from verified sources. And therefore, two things are going to happen here. Just in case Dennis Itumbi is going to win this case, then at the end of the day, anything that Dennis Itumbi is going to tell people in public there, whether it's going to be the truth or false information, I'm sure many people are going to take that information as credible information. So this is going to be the making or the falling of Dennis Itumbi intelligence issue. And in case Dennis Itumbi will be found with a case to answer and at the end of the day, he get convicted, then that is going to be the end of his intelligence bureau center that he has been releasing his information. I'm sure no one is going to trust anything from Dennis Itumbi. Even all the information that Dennis Itumbi has tried to give out to do with corruption issues and all individuals he has mentioned in those cases, including Matiangi and the team, and even President Uru Kenyatta. I'm sure so many people are going to take that information as just Ogwish. People will take Dennis Itumbi as a person who is spreading rumors without evidence. So, it's going to be the making or falling of Dennis Itumbi. Another biggest problem for William Samoy Ruto is that the state has always been looking for a way to deal with those people who are deeply in support of William Samoy Ruto. So the best way and the clever way these guys could have stayed was to always avoid going into issues that can bring complication that will see them face charges in court. And therefore, for lack of wisdom, I'm sure these guys are heading to the wrong direction. Just in case, in case this guy will get convicted. And you can see how Dr. Miguna Miguna is telling Dennis Itumbi open, despite the fact that he has been one of the people who is fronting William Samuel Ruto. As a lawyer, he has given Dennis Itumbi the best advice. And again, he has gone ahead to warn him as early as possible just to prepare in case he was spreading malicious information. So, we are waiting to see. I think today is 23rd. It, uh, I think then Situmbi, he will be having, the men mentioning of the case will be done today because today is 23rd. So we anticipate the mentioning of the case to happen today. Then from there, the proceeding will continue going on. We are going to follow the proceeding very careful, step after the other to see at the end of the day, what is going to happen. But Dennis Itumbi is working on a tight situation. Time is going to tell. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. Go in the comment section and drop your comment. Tell me what you think about Dennis Itumbi case, how they were spreading this issue, and finally, how the ruling is heading, which direction the ruling is heading. So go in the comment section. Drop your comment, and as usual, I'm going to respond to each and every comment. And again, just a quick reminder, if you have reached this far, I'm sure definitely you have enjoyed this video. So just go ahead to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Again, remember to share this video out because we want to reach a bigger audience. And the more we reach a bigger audience, that's how you're going to attract more people to subscribe to this channel. So please help us to grow this platform. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. Kalondo Muskyoka, Gideon Moy have come out to say that One Kenya Alliance is still alive and soon they will be unveiling the presidential candidate. I think that's going to be my next video. 
So stay tuned. Don't miss it. See you in our next video. May good God bless you.